HIP 003 bin. HIP 003 bin. Okay, yes, print that one. But how? Where's the print button? HIP. No, not delete. Update user interface here. Yeah. It's a mess. So yeah, doing the first two updates screws up the interface by the looks of it completely. So I think that's file free done. for HIU I don't remember how to go down how do I go down HIU and that's the file that we want to print and I think the button was around here so we need to basically ignore this HIU print, where's the print button? update user interface and we'll wait for that blue bar Okay, so the print uh, firmware seems to have updated and it looks okay, much better. You, the the touchscreen looks okay now. Oh, I think it looks fine now. Yeah, it looks to be okay. So let's try a print. Okay, so a quick overview. So I upgraded this printer's firmware for a few reasons. For example, when I connect the USB stick, before it wouldn't even detect the USB stick until a few reboots maybe, which seems to still apply for some reason. So let's reconnect it back. Okay, now it came up, but sometimes it doesn't connect even though this is a good USB. So let's check out the new firmware. It is tool, no system, info 0310. Before it was 0305, so it's 0310 now. And after the printer is uh, disconnected from the mains, I believe the motherboard dies. Uh, the CMOS battery, I believe, dies, and the initial defaults reset to zero, so it gets stuck on layer zero. On layer zero. But let's see if things are different now. So I've got another piece set up. And here, so when we start a print, it would be here. And let me just check that I actually tightened this. I forget to tighten this sometimes. Okay, that's tight. Okay. So, where was I going? So we are on layer zero and in the cog, let's go down. Transition layer zero. Yeah, we're still on zeros. So it keeps resetting to zero, which is not good. So it would be stuck on layer one, on layer zero, forever. Oop. So we have zeros, but none of them should be zeros because the print would never finish. No, why is it not point zero? Why do I have to reset this every time? Why is it pressing seven? One. 
So basically none of those values should be on zero. The firmware is just shit. I mean physically it's okay once you do set it up. I only bought this printer because of the size of the build plate. That's mostly the reason. But it's just ridiculous that having to do this yourself all the time. So we see we do have a layer zero printing. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes again because um, it needs to uh, finish the first layer, detract, and then retract, and then it will load my new values that I just input. Yeah, this is just this printer is a mess with the firmware. Even though I just updated the firmware to zero point three zero ten, it's detracting now. Now retracted, and now detracting. Okay, so the setting now applied. So we at three minutes six seconds. So let's see how long the first layer takes. So it should take 25 seconds because that's what I set the bottom layer to. And I'll tell you when that is up. We are 15 seconds. So got to wait 25 more seconds, and that will be at 40 seconds at the time of my of my recording. I mean, so I'll tell you. Let's see when the layer will change to two. Well, it's got to uh, retract first and then detract. But we have a completed layer, so it might be honoring my values. Yeah, it's been over 30 seconds and it still hasn't retracted or detracted. So, you know what, I think I'm going to have uh, give their customer service an another email because this is just ridiculous. It's not really doing what it's supposed to be doing, so it's not good enough. I don't know what to do. What are they going to do about the firmware? We're going to tell me. They're going to tell me to update the firmware even though I just did. Okay. So, yeah, that was a minute. So, it is on to layer 2 now. But that was a minute even though my bottom layer said... Clearly, 25 seconds. It's actually in this menu as well. So look, if we click on a cogwheel here. Yeah. 25, bottom exposure, 25 seconds. It's right there. Okay. See, and that back button, up, being right above the cancel, is just terrible placement. All right.